<laughs> no, I just started. What's up, Catman? I have just started. I'm waiting for the ad. I kicked in an ad right as I started. I'm gonna wait for it to finish and then we'll get started. What's up, dude? How's it going tonight? Today? I'm not sure if I'll do 7 Remake after. We'll see how I feel. A little late. Um, Saturday is a little, uh, little, um, it's not on schedule. Um, so I basically just was, like, doing stuff and pretty much just got to go online when I'm able to. But it's not on the schedule. Usually I'm very, uh, punctual about my schedules, but Saturday is kind of the flex day. So it's just kind of like, you know, when I'm able to. Someone tried to steal your motorcycle to- Wow! Did you punch him in the face? Erebos, hello, how you doing? I guess you're not seeing an ad right now, which is good. <laughs> it's it's weird, because like, I'm still getting used to the whole, like, playing the ads on stream and everything. Um, so... I think sometimes they do it in a way where, like... I think you either get only some of the ad, or you'll get the non-intrusive ads, as they call it, the ones where you see, like, the ad on the bottom of the screen. So technically, some people may not actually see three minutes of ads, they might see, like, a minute, and then they'll see the rest of it later, so it's, it's really weird. Um, but usually I just take into account that maybe you're just sitting in an ad, but I guess you're not, so that's cool. Yeah, man, what, you gotta tell me the story, man. I'm, I'm, I'm chilling today, so, you know, it's relaxing, this is just a climb up. Oh, I need to, do I have my music? I do. No, I was asleep. It was winter, no gas battery, so he only pushed it to the parking lot across the street and broke my ignition. Damn. Well, that's not good. That sucks. Now you gotta get it fixed and stuff, right? Alright, let's get started. We're gonna climb to 50. That is the goal today. Um, we usually do this on the Saturdays now, because I need three days for Astro, so I don't have to stay up, like, a ridiculously long amount of time. Um, nice start. Nice, nice song to start with. I'm gonna be playing this game Monday again. Really excited. We're gonna be sticking with Stranger Paradise on the Mondays for quite a while. Um, because we got the new expansion coming in too, and I've been doing speedruns. Um, and the speedruns have been really interesting for sure. A lot I'm learning about those speedruns, but it's been pretty fun for that. So let's just get through, shall we? Joke's on him. So, uh, you mean like, he had such a big problem, like, like he wasted his time or something? I mean, you still have to pay for it though. For the damages, unless you had him on camera. If you had him on camera, then he's kind of screwed. That can be, uh, that can be something you can, uh, report, you know? Evidence, proof, license plates, facial recognition. It's such a good song, man. Boobar, what's up, man? Happy Saturday. Well, some it's, it's, uh, it's gonna cross over Sunday for me real soon. I just paid, but not right now. Okay. Okay. Got you. Okay. Hope you guys, are, aside from Catman having his motorcycle taken away, hope the rest of you are having a decent uh, weekend. Mine was uh, busy. And, uh, did some family time, <laughs> and then, uh, we are here. We're back on Astro, man. Oh, the chest is over there. Feels bad. Oh, and you respawn. Even better. Attempt number eight, this B. It's attempt number eight. Last attempt, we got to 194. I had, I probably would have gotten maybe to like, I'd say like 196, 197 based on the current palms I had. I was thinking maybe that far, I don't think that was going to be a clear. Um, it would have been nice to get a little further. I was stretching my palms um, as long as I could, <clears throat> as far as I could, but we eventually just got a, a basically one shot and you know, it happens, I'm not really upset by that. Work week. Uh, oh, yeah, we can just start it. Okay. Uh, Perry. It's <laughs> yeah. We're gonna go one to two hundred right now, dude. You got it, man. <laughs> Work week might be around to watch you clear the shop next week. 
next week of magic number eight. We'll see, man. We'll see. We'll see. I got enough for two. I can do two attempts before I actually legitimately run out of pot shards. So I think I only went minus ten this time. So maybe three attempts. I went minus ten, and not bad going into the one nineties. Then I went minus ten. But we'll see. Hey, man. Um, we just our last attempt we got to one ninety four. Um. The tenth before that, we got to 196. Although that one is kind of brutal, because I think that could have been a clear. But I've been to 191 twice in a row, and I'm pretty happy about that result. That is, uh, that is something that made me really happy. And also, on last week's attempt, we made a pretty, we made two mistakes, um, two rather significant mistakes, and we still made it to 180, 191. So that's really cool. Uh, we took a death in one of the floors that I wasn't ready to take. It kind of cost me maybe like two, three minutes. And then 181, we took a really unfortunate death when I had a rage. I was in rage and I died. We sucked. Ludo, suck. Just don't get unlucky and win. Well, I wouldn't say luck is a factor right now in the runs, which is pretty much my, my going stance with Palace. Um, I have definitely had a lot of good luck, but the losses that I've had were totally on me. Like, like both, both the last two weeks in 191 plus were on my account like that had nothing to do with luck that was just my performance so if i just play better and you know I'll make it work um but yeah it's 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 going you know i'm trying i killed it with my with my uh with my cardigan dude i hope you're having a good uh week end tomorrow uh today's kind of you know it's my flex day so i'll go live when i can if i want to but we do have to work on astro so astro is kind of a requirement for me otherwise i'm gonna put such a big load on uh i'm gonna have to put such a big load on like tuesday thursday i mean i could maybe do it monday but i don't really feel comfortable about that way too yeah it's pretty hot where i am too i mean it wasn't too bad i know like west coast getting is getting hit pretty hard um i think it was like 80s by me Fahrenheit. You know, whatever that translates to the Celsius if anyone is, uh, basically not American. Oh, I didn't blow him up. 80 Celsius? 80 Celsius, yeah, it's pretty hot, dude. <laughs> pretty hot, man. Playing so bad, same here. Okay. I don't, I can't, I keep forgetting how to convert the Celsius, so I apologize. I used to know how to do it, it's just math is really hard for me. It's like a, it's like a massive challenge, guys. I might be Asian, but I am bad at math. You're gonna die. Just Google? Bruh, I'm not gonna weave Google. When I'm playing Astro. I can weave Google when I'm playing Machinist, but I can't weave it when I'm playing Astro. I keep killing things with my card. I should get extra damage for that. Extra points for that. Subtract 10%. You're, you're making me do more math. No, like... like, I, I, I generally know how to do it. So, yeah, it's, it's like that's a formula to get the generalization for it. It's more like I need to compute it in my brain, and that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. Get a second. I do, well, I do have a second. Key, well, I mean, I do have two keyboards now. I actually have had my razor keyboard is to my right, and I have to. I've had it here because I wanted to clean it. Except it's been a week and I haven't cleaned it yet, so you know. I have a bit of a procrastination problem. It's like literally right here. I just have to clean it, but man, I have a bit of a procrastination problem. Wait. So you. Guys, I got raised. I can raise people now. Both hands and both keys, that's right. Oh, the conversion from Celsius to Fahrenheit is exact? Interesting. I will not remember that. But, I do appreciate it though. Nonetheless. Oh, Ow. Thankfully you didn't interrupt me like you usually do. I just think kicking my butt, what the hell? You're like destroying me. Times 2 minus 10% plus 32. 
Yeah, I think I... the formula that I picked up was like... was like times 2 plus 3, 2, and it was like more or less there. I know, it's 3 levels higher, it's just... it's more like... Darth, it's more like, uh... Why am I not strong enough? <laughs> You know, like, sometimes, like, you know, the levels kind of balance out, but, like, it's more like, why am I not strong enough? Why didn't I get enough levels to, to not get my ass kicked, you know? I have 291 plus save files. One of the past four wipes and a ton of point manners. No shot of screwing this one up. You better not, otherwise I'm gonna... I'm gonna delete your character. Not strong enough to play the Astro? Yeah, that's what the point, yeah. Rip Astro, dude. I can actually visit your data centers now, guys. You better watch out. And stand outside the NPC and be like, Yo, you better clear, dude. I'll be there in 10 minutes. <laughs> That'll give me 10 minutes, I'll be right there. Hey, I have ED. Yo, what's up, Brig? Was it like, I heard like 20 minutes like the longest time to travel to data center. It should it should basically be pretty short for me going from coming from Aether to somewhere else. If I go back to Aether, it'd be a little different. All oh, true. I think it's crystal right now is probably a problem. That's actually fair. No one likes Primal. I mean, I kind of like Primal. Primal's not bad. I mean, I I mean Primal was actually pretty nice to me, honestly. But uh, I think I'm gonna abandon my character in Primal because I mean, what's the point? I just use my main. Everything's unlocked. Well, not everything's unlocked, but I have everything like kind of unlocked in my main. So, do, 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 do. is it demon side talking? It's always talking. What are you talking about? I was on Primal. Only reason I moved was because my friend transferred. He was only playing at, at the time, so I joined. Oh, nice. I want to know if your name on the scoreboard will need it. Wait, I want to- I- I- if you want your name on the scoreboard, you will need it. Yeah, I guess. I don't know if I care so much. I mean, it's still there, so... I actually moved my character on Primal, so I did delete my scores on Primal. Um, so I would have to think about if I cared about putting them back up, but I mean, I'm not really that- I'm not- I'm not that competitive on the scoreboard, you know? It's not that important to me. Like, it'd be different, like the EU one, kind of, but not really. Um, but yeah. It's a good song. Oh, this one might final thing, okay. Cool. Little Lecho swing. Actually, not learned yet. Four primal alts returning to the ethereal sea. Yeah, mine will. My primal alts are ninety. Let's see, use the face. Yeah, I know. It's um, you know, the Saturdays and the Mondays. We gotta, we gotta put on the makeup and everything. Make it real important. Which healer is your favorite to play in Deep Dungeon? I would say Sage. However. I haven't been able to try White Mage yet, but I am doing White Mage tomorrow. We're gonna do Heaven on High on White Mage tomorrow, starting at 21 plus. And I have not touched White Mage, um, this entire expansion yet, so... But I would say I really love the Sage Run rest cups. Um, I mean, Astro is just really brutal. And, um... Scholar wasn't bad, but Sage, I had so much fun on Sage, man. Oh my god. So when I did Sage, um, we one-shot Palace to Dead on Sage, like almost right out the gate. So like when I cleared, I cleared Reaper uh, during early access in Heaven on High. Um, we nailed we nailed the one to one hundred world first there, and then my very next step was to go into Sage Palace of the Dead because that was unclaimed. Um, you know, a couple people working on it, but I was gonna go there. So I learned Sage on the fly. And then we just one-shot Sage, and I got world first on Sage for Palace, so it was nice. And that alone gives me a lot of like confidence on it. Now it took me three attempts in Heaven on High, although one of them was a disconnect, but it was still a good experience. 
Are you still in Forest Fun? Well, I mean, it's more fun than it was than it had been in Shadowbangers, that's for sure. You know, at least I'm not gonna clip. I'm not gonna be clipping all my buttons anymore. I can at least double weave stuff, but that's the one thing I might I'm, I I have to adjust the white mage because before it was just like a hard cast. It was like the slow, like one of the slowest casts, not including Scholar, where Royal was like massively slow. Astro was like a really good job in comparison for Shadowbringers because it had the fast cast of Malefic, and it felt really good to be able to basically slide cast the entire time. Of course, that no longer counts because all of them can slide cast, and I just don't really care about Astro in terms of like fun factor. Have you tried Sage and Shadowbringers? Have I tried Sage and Shadowbringers? Yes, I have. Still want to try Sage clear and have it on high after I try clear the tank. Sage is great. It's strong. Sage, Sage is strong, but it's very mobile. Like the two things that make really make nice was that it's a strong job and you're basically permanently mobile. Because all of your casts can be instant. Shield's instant. I mean, yeah, it's like a double weave. But shield's instant. Uh, I mean, your, your your main your main damage is an instant, but if you do any AoE, that's instant. What the hell? Why is there a Mimic here? What in the world? I didn't realize that's a Mimic. I kill it in time? Yeah, we should kill it in time. I didn't even level up from that thing. What the hell? 1.5 cast change all. Yeah! Oh, it's great! Um, I loved, like I said, I loved it on Astro. Back when you didn't have that for White Mage and Scholar. It, it felt really good to have that 1.5. Um, so... I wouldn't I mean, it's good actually, because you get the extra XP. But... It's kind of a scorer's dream right there. If you're going for scoring, that is exactly what you want to see, is to mimic that early. We are 20. You missed, get wrecked. I'm gonna see so we're gonna we're gonna complete the 1 to 50 guaranteed right now. Um so that'll take about two hours to and a half. After that I'm gonna see how I feel if I wanna chip away at 7 remake. Um we've been working at 7 remake on Fridays and we did a little bit last week. Now, I'm in a bit of a predicament because I was really thinking it over yes, uh, this morning about my timing. Because I am on a limited time to play Remake. Because after next week, on the 19th, uh, Stray comes out, which is the cat game. And I want to play that game on that Friday, which would be, I guess, the 2021, 20, 20, 22nd or 23rd. Um, so I'm on a limited time to beat Remake. Now, thinking about what's left with the story on Remake, because we're on Chapter 13. Uh, the, the plate just collapsed, so we're in chapter 13. And there's still a lot to go. Um, there's a sewer section, there's a climb up a, a wall, uh, there's the entire Shinra building, so I don't know if I can do that all on top of trying to beat Yuffie's story. So I think what I'm gonna plan to do right now is I'm gonna try to beat the base game. Uh, that's the goal. We're gonna try to beat the base game, and then after I beat Stray, I might come back to do to do the Yuffie DLC. And in that case, I might also, which which does change things. I might, unless I had another game planned out, which I don't think so, because I don't know what's what I'd be looking forward to in the next month or so. I think September is the next game I'd be looking forward to, which is Dio Field Chronicles. Um, so I probably beat Stray, however long I play that game, no limit there. And once Stray is finished, wrapped up, we come back to Remake. And, uh, I do, oh, I do, um... And I do, uh, Yuffie's, Yuffie's stuff, and then probably hunt down some achievements. Maybe do some of the harder fights, so and so forth, because I'll have the extra time for that. Well, the uh, DLC for Strangers will be on Mondays, though, Zevran. Also, I'm gonna play an ad, 90 second ad, once the boss dies, guys. Just a heads up if you're gonna get ads. 90 second ad once I once I kill the boss, okay? 
Um, the DLC will keep you busy on Mondays. I think Mondays really is just a designated, um, designated Stranger Paradise. Here comes the ad, BRB. Um, so that's just gonna stay. You know, I can take a break from speeds, that's fine. Not to mention, like, it might even adjust for speeds. So, that'll be there. But then, yeah, Stray... I mean, I wanna... I Depending on how Stray goes, I wanna potentially speedrun Stray if it plays out that way. That would really entertain me. And if I end up speedrunning Stray, that's gonna take a buttload of time, you know? And that'll definitely carry me into Dio Field. Um, so... Play as cat game, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, man, if, if, if Stray... If Stray has character customization, oh my god, dude, forget it. That game is just gonna be the best. It's not a full, it's not a full price AAA game. It's like I think it's gonna be twenty nine or something, or twenty five. And I think you might get it for free if you have PS Plus. So, and I currently have PS Plus. So I'm not predicting it to be a long game, um, based on the pricing of the game. But we'll see. We'll see what's involved with it. I definitely want to maybe go platinum on it. You know. Hollow, good to see you. Good morning or good night. I don't know what's gonna happen. I, I'm not sure if you just woke up, but hello. Uh... Oh, you're here. See, that's uh, the current plan. Also, um, I'm gonna wait for the ad to finish. Um, welcome back if you saw the ad. I appreciate you guys spending that. Um, if you don't know what Dio Field is, Dio Field is a, is a, I believe it's a Square Next game. I think it's Square Next, right? It's a Square Next game that is a tactical RPG, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be made for the PS5. So it's gonna be like a modern tactical RPG, and I'm really excited, man. You get me a tactical RPG. Um, and that's, I think, September, it's in, like, late September, 22nd or something. So I really want to look forward to that big time. Um, and then after that, I might, I might look into Star Ocean and Harvest Stella. Those are the two, those are the other two games I'm looking for. I think Harvest Stella might be, what, November? Or is it October? And then Star Ocean might be either October or November. So that's what I'm, I'm aiming for in the near future for that. And then Crisis Core is like next year, so we'll do Crisis Core next year. Ada, good to see you. Hi, right, Catman. I uh, hope you get the motorcycle like fixed and uh, thanks for by, dude. Trace free if you are you are correct. Have fun. I'm having fun in bed. Is it free? It's free if I have. It's free if I have PS Plus though, right? I need PS Plus though. Do I need like the super awesome PS Plus, or do I just need the basic one? Because I currently have the basic one. He's got to 101. Nice. Ada. Keep it up, dude. I'm proud of you. Because I know, like, the PS Plus has three tiers. And I don't know which one will give me access to the Stray game. And the reason I have PS Plus is only because I'm... I sent my save file for, uh... Stranger Paradise to the cloud. Because I couldn't keep it on my damn hard drive. So I needed to put it somewhere. And uh, it was on the cloud, unfortunately. Where's the... Okay, I got Corgan Slice. Do do. Oh, you didn't drop a chest? Alright, I'm outie. I'm outie. Look at the double level and a slime. Respect the slime. Ah uh, yes, Astro man. I sort of I if I don't clear White Mage tomorrow, by the way, I don't know if I'm gonna wanna do White Mage again for a little bit, because I really don't wanna do like double healer for the week. So I might transition to another job after uh next week, but we'll see. I don't know what I do next though. Actually someone oh samurai, maybe we do samurai next. Someone is asking about samurai, so I might do samurai. 
Yeah, that might be next week. That's a good job to try to go back to. I haven't touched Samurai this entire expansion yet either. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Do the Samurai. So I was thinking about that, I'm like, oh, do I really want to do healer all week this week? But I already committed to wipe maze because someone asked it, so I'm gonna do it. But just once. Grip Kaiten. You get crit Midari. Not that bad. Here's one less button to hit. Organites. I'm gonna use the affluence because it's at three. Big Floris. This is like a scoring seed. If I, uh, if I know better. I'm getting a little close to the- oh! Getting a little close to the slime there. I just got out of that. Nice. There's a chest here. Oh, there's more rooms! Durban! Hello, how you doing, man? Good to see you on the... Saturday, Sunday, whatever day it is over there. F. Oh, this is gonna- oh, this is gonna hurt. Okay. <laughs> Uh, did I say it was gonna hurt? I did- I did say it was gonna hurt, right? Hello? Polish Noble, good morning! How you doing? Happy weekend! Got the level though, that's nice. There are already so many buttons at 90 that my hotbar is almost full of space. I expect they will try to simplify jobs even more, enabling future expansions. Oh, they always, uh, extra code, they always prune buttons. Um, every expansion they prune buttons. They want to keep, like, a certain amount, so they've been doing it since, uh, I think since, like, what, Shadow, like, like, Stormblood, they've been doing that. So they always prune buttons. Combine abilities together. Like like Gunbreaker was one big one that they did recently was to eliminate the three the three buttons for the combo, so you'll see pruning all the time. Um, otherwise, there's no way anyone would fit in a, on any hot bar whatsoever. So It still made me interested- it still made me, like, question why, like, you know, some of the stuff for Astro is still, like, multiple buttons, like, what, like, isn't, like, play and all that stuff still there, and, like, well, play you kinda need, but, like, Minor Arcana and all that stuff are, like, separate buttons. There's, like, some things that are really weird about Astro that should be combined, but I guess they didn't deem it necessary. I love breaking my fingers every time you hit a burst. They're gonna have to, because you have too many buttons now, you know, so they always prune. Every expansion, they do it every expansion. So it's no surprise. Astro's gonna chop him down. This should- Astro should have less buttons. There's a little bit too many buttons here for Astro. I like buttons that you could totally see them combining, that's what I mean. Stop. Alright, you're gonna come. Let's go. I'll do light speed. Look at my machinist esque pulling. I guess I'll pull you. Do, 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 do. There's so many things respawn because I've been here so long, but I'm not gonna stay any longer. It's gloom, so.
I saw that FF a Dragoon. And when I seen the patch notes, the remove button for appeared, you found it so weird. God, I loved it. Oh my god, that was actually that was actually a really cool update. I was really happy they did that. That was so annoying to keep that thing up, man. Although on the flip side, that's what they kind of did with Monk too, and they removed all the stances from Monk, and that really pissed me off. So I don't like Monk at all. I miss the stances from Monk, you know, and they actually really helped. And they didn't bake it into the job either. It sucks. Swiss! Hey, congratulations, costing over 180, dude. When are you gonna continue that file, you know? Let it continue, first time Godfather died. Oh no, the steel drop! Ugh. I know, I know that one, man. I've I've died to that a number of times. You realize it's too late and then it tank busters you. Yeah. Been there, done that. But it's fine, it's fair. I mean you're thinking about a lot of things, so it's not it's not a it's not a bad thing to have happen, you know, it's just the nature of things, but you know, next time you probably won't forget. You'll stare at that thing. Yeah, you got to 190. You got the you got a taste of 190. How far did you get on 190? That's tremendous. If you got through like at least two cycles, man, you got the fight. That's it. Even one cycle is more than enough for uh for for 190. It's experience that is valuable, like beyond valuable. I forgot to set up my water. I just realized that. Wait. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, you saw the fight, man. You're ready. We gotta even set up in corner. Let's try to weave it in. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. You almost had him. And you definitely got him next time. Yep, 191 is the last one. And, 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 and not to mention, I mean, that's a set that, like, you just have to get your butt there and you might have some success. It's not like Heaven on High. Heaven on High, you really need help, but Palace, for, you just have to get your butt there. I wonder how new Astro will be at the update. I kind of hope I beat Astro before the new update, not gonna lie, man. You know? Like, I'm gonna feel bad if I don't beat this challenge before the update. Like, it's a personal thing, it's not gonna matter. But I'm gonna feel bad about it. Focus the slime. For the update, nerf said you might. Yeah, nerf it more, make it harder, let's go. I want a challenge. Yeah, I'm always up for a challenge, man. I miss I miss that challenge, but I don't mind. You've been progging all this time. They move some. Well, the thing is, is that aside from like you not having the chance to do it in its current version, it's not like anyone can go back in time and do it as the old version, right? Like if anyone wanted to do to, to do Astro, that is the version that you're working with. So that's the only kind of plus side, if you will. Unless like you know, classic servers show up, but it is what it is. I mean, even for the video in itself, it doesn't help anyone because it's like, oh, it's not the current version, you know. That's how I felt with like a couple, a couple jobs I did. I had to go back on the job because it just wasn't, it wasn't up to date anymore. Like Dark Knight, for instance, my Dark Knight clear is completely out of date. I mean, it's a lot harder than uh, it's a lot harder before, but I mean, someone trying to glean into that video, I did it right before the 6.1 patch. So someone trying to glean into that run. You can pull some things, but how I look at it is like it's on it's on authentic. It's not the same run, you know. It's a different job. Kind of have to do it uh, updated. That's why Ninja was kind of there too. I mean, Ninja didn't change too too much, but it was still kind of out of date with a, with a couple things, you know. 
it made, it made sense to kind of go back to it. Fog with Doug all the time with old LD. Felt cheap transition to LD. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just a personal thing, you know. And who cares, really, but it's just a personal thing. And you can't go back in time. That's what kind of sucks about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the prog carries over, you know? So it's... it's... It's fine, there's nothing wrong with it. I got digested for 69, nice. Did you chop a chest? Oh, that's chest room. Okay, nice dude. Uh, let's do you, let's do you. <laughs> yeah, like, it's super nice. Digested, dude. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Uh. Oh, that was risky. Did I re-up the- I didn't. What the hell? I'm actually hurt, getting hurt. Okay. I don't think that Nanka dies. Does it die? No, it doesn't. Quick and easy. Ah, thanks, thanks, Kerrigan. I appreciate that. Quick and easy, Astro. Clear tongue. Hey, Jason. Now you're legal, Pog. It's two babies. Yeah, thanks for the continued support, Jason. It's, it's wonderful to have you in this community. Now I'm legal, Pog. Pog. British lady wasn't really impressed though. She's like, whatever, Pog or whatever, Pog. Thanks guys for the uh, thanks guys for the resubs. I appreciate it. In and out, tw yeah, in and out, twenty hour adventure. That's what I should put the. Uh, that should be the title. Loot ah, Ludar. Thanks for sniping the hype train to sil sil to silly silly now silly now. Thanks man. First ninja clear. How feasible is it? Feasible. What are we talking? Are we talking heaven on high or uh, palace? Wow, guys. Welcome all back! Thank you for continuing to support the stream, I really appreciate it. Palace? Ma so, what I'll say about... Okay, first of all... Hold on. Let me gather my thoughts, let me pour some water. You wanna hear some water ASMR, guys? Here you go. There you go, it's water ASMR right there. Um, <clears throat> we... Melee in itself is tricky for, pa for Palace, okay? There's two things that you need to figure out and learn about Palace of the Dead melee. You need to learn how to handle mimics at high levels. You need to learn how to you need to learn how to handle Godfather. If you tackle those two and you're confident with those two, clear will be in sight. Reaper is the strongest melee, like literally and figuratively because it is just a powerhouse. However, Ninja's utility is fantastic. Its main damage is mobile with ninjutsu. Uh, I've always thought that was the most fun job in Palace in general. So it's a great job. So in terms of capability, it's it's a good choice for a melee job. But again, melee, deep dungeon, it has its own little challenge of like survival. Now I do have I have known about maybe two or three people in the community. Uh Twisted Lotus that has gotten Necromancer and Lone Hero via Ninja. They got it on those jobs. So feasible? Absolutely. It's doable, it's been done. When my moderator Sky is one is the first one that I can even recall who got Necromancer and Lone Hero via Ninja a while back. And that was when Ninja was probably even harder. So yeah. If you're if you're if you're kind of if you wanna stick it on Ninja, that's your main, that's like your 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 job you wanna focus on. 
just understand the difficulties you have, watch the videos, I have I have VODs up on my end, watch the gameplay, and uh, see if it's see if it's up your alley, that's it. H2 ASMR? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> hopefully that's, hopefully uh, that was a good that was a good answer for you, I hope. The one good song from a uh, triangle strategy playing right now. Lay bad day breath. Sounds good, thanks. I've been told to not even bother. Who told you that? You're not gonna hear that from me. Also, if they put Red Mage in the same sentence as Machinist, then they're misinformed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to say, dude. <sighs> you know, I think honestly, like, it's it's been so funny seeing the the progression of what like the general public says about Deep Dungeon. When you like, you know, you go on like you know the streets of like New York City, and you're like, "Hey, yo, random random pedestrian, who do you think will clear for Deep Dungeon in Palace of the Dead?" And in the beginning, the days, in the start of the days, the history, man, it was, it was like, oh, it's Red Mage, right? I mean, I mean, it's only Red Mage, I mean, it's the only job capable of doing it, you know? That was the, that was the answer, like, years ago. And then it slowly transitioned to, like, this half and half of, like, Machinist, no Red Mage, no Machinist, no Red Mage. And everyone's like, why Red, why Machinist? It, it can't, it can't live. And it's like, no, 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 just trust me, it's Machinist. And now it's slowly morphing, like, a little bit morphing into, like, machinist only. Like, no one suggests anything but machinist. And then you have more of the, the, the open-minded, you know, putting out warrior and summoner and reaper. But that's more rare. But for certain, I, I, like, if I see someone suggesting machinist and red mage in the same breath, that's, like, that's, like, way old information at this point. This community knows best, though. Dude, I can't even recommend Red Mage, dude, and I, I'm like so like pro Red Mage. I can't even recommend Red Mage. That's how bad it is. Not the job. The job isn't bad. In, in fact, just to kind of follow up on that comment of that, Red Mage is actually never... It's not worse. It's it's fine. Red Mage has never... It has been gotten like incremental increases of, of like efficiency every patch. It's never gotten worse. It's just all the other jobs have gotten significantly better. That's it. Warriors Raw Intuition update. Significantly better than what Red Mage has been getting incrementally. Summoner, the massive overhaul of Summoner has propelled it to like machinist level. Reaper is just a powerhouse. You just delete things on Reaper. But Red Mage has always gotten slightly better like every single patch. It's just, yeah, that's just the situation with uh, it's the situation with Red Mage. Thanks for the hype train, guys. If you got any new emotes, uh... You're welcome to share them. They haven't actually updated that in a long time, so I think everyone has all the emotes already. Red Mage was the answer before Healing Pots? No! Because Healing Pots came into Heaven's Ward. So Red Mage didn't exist before Healing Pots. Healing Pots came in like a little bit after uh, Heaven's Ward, uh, the introduction of Deep Dungeon. There was like basically no answer. <laughs> it's, just, it's just, there's no answer. There's no answer. It's just, like, no one tried to do it. Until until Red Mage got released and then Red Mage. But yeah, anyway, I gave you a really long, long winded answer there, Twisted Lotus. But yeah, you like look. You're gonna want you're gonna see videos of like every 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 job has cleared. Okay, so my suggestion, and that's anyone listening to, if you have a job that might not be the one that people are going to tell you. Just look up the video on YouTube. You know, I've got 18 of them out. I mean, I got Astro there, but I haven't cleared yet. But I mean, I have all of them up there. Watch the run. See how you feel with it. Judge it for yourself. I mean, I've cleared on them. Whether you think it's over, like, whether you think it's doable, feasible, whatever, just watch it and see for yourself. That's, that's, all, I, that's all I suggest, you know? Maybe, and, and, and kind of kind of come to your own conclusion. That's, that's how I kind of feel about it, you know? And man, like people like Polish Polish was in here, I don't know if he's still in here. He got it by a Dark Knight because he's stuck with his guns. You have a number of other people who stuck with their guns for certain jobs. It's like yeah, I mean if you really have a if you really have like this 
important reason why you want to try to do it in this job. Believe in yourself first, and then do the studying, and then work with that. He sucked at Red Mage? Yeah, a lot of people sucked at Red Mage, apparently. <laughs> and, and, to top that, there, there are definitely a few people who sucked at Machinists, and they just can't play Machinists. And, what, you can't blame them. If they can't play Machinists, they can't play Machinists. That's it. The end of story. Why do you need to debate this? Exactly, what Hollis said. The fact is, everything is clear. The challenge level will be different class class with me. Yeah, exactly. Precisely my point. But you guys know that. We gotta, we gotta tell the public, man. We gotta inform the public. That's, that's who's lacking the info, you know? But they're getting there. You know, the public is getting there, man. They're, they're getting there. I was really impressed when uh, Asmin and Zeppla, and when they were pushing like a year ago, literally a year ago, and you would look at their chat and they would constantly ask like, hey, what's the good job to take in? And there would be a nice split. It'd be like Red Mage and Machina. It's like, good. At least suggest Red Mage, you know? Hey, even Zeppla right now is trying to work it on Warrior, you know? She got convinced by Naxi to do, to do Warrior. And she's having a blast on Warrior. She's loving Warrior way better than Machinist. Because that's the job that she knows how to play. She never played Machinist before, so of course she'll choose Warrior. And she got to 180! On her first attempt! Or not really her first, like, official. Like, I mean, she's gone. She's gotten to, like, 1. What was her PB before? Like, 154 or something? I mean, she's been there on Red Mage, but... Now, last year she did Red Mage because that was what everyone suggested. <clears throat> I mean, Red Mage and died in Floor 10 boss solo. Oh, rip, dude. Floor 10's no joke. I've wanted to try Party Core. I've wanted to try POTD at some point, and I'd probably do Red Mage because it's by far the best job out of solo, I'd imagine it translate best. You know, Red Mage, so, so to give you kind of the objective answer to Red Mage Party Core, Red Mage does have a pretty high skill ceiling. If you can play Red Mage really well and maximize its toolkit, you will have success. People, from what I've heard, these are kind of the complaints I've heard of people trying out Red Mage. I don't like the Ver Curing. The Ver Curing, you know, I don't do damage ver with Ver Curing, so I don't like the Curing. I don't like the stop and go casting, because you are stop and go casting, dual cast, you know? You have to kite a lot on Red Mage, but a lot of people aren't quite used to that. Um, and those are kind of the two main reasons why people have trouble with Red Mage, because they can't play it in a way that, that does give you success. Now, if you play it in a way that gives you success and survivability, you're gonna have success. You're gonna, you're gonna probably have a good time. Um, but those are the main reasons, and, and we're talking people who tried the job, Gave it a good go, and then kind of was like, yeah, I'm good, I'm gonna go back to another job. I always remember Lorp first played Monk. Yep, Lorp, our good buddy Lorp. I haven't seen him in a while, but Lorp committed to Monk and got Monk, Necro, and and Lone Hero back in Shadowbringer. It was hard back then. Well, I, I, I don't know, I, I can't compare it now. I, do, I just can't play the job right now, but... You need clickbait videos. Why Red Mage isn't good for Deep Dungeon. I know, we've been joking about clickbait videos, dude. Something like, you know, why Astro is the great, the best job in Deep Dungeon, something like that. She almost beat it, yeah, oh no, she got to like, what, 2% Darabad? That was like, sick, dude. And she didn't, she kind of watched the video, too. Sagari movement's very unnatural, yes. Did I pull that? Okay, I guess I'm just gonna... Stop hurting me, people. The cast times probably wouldn't cause me issues because I literally forget about Icarus on Sage because I'm used to slide casting constantly. Actually, like Sage in, in Deep Dungeon, Icarus has some really interesting uh, uses to like land my place and whatnot. That's like advanced, but... If I move efficiently when you can slide cast, yeah. Hey, this is slide casting. But like, Red Mage for sure benefits off of... Um, being able to basically move every single cast, you have to. <laughs> Astro can clear. What the? What the? What? Right, dude. I wanted the seedling. Hello. Oh my god! I hit the button. Okay, cool. Why am I LOSing this little? Oh, I'm not getting the speed run, guys. Feels bad. I took too long. Is that on strength rolling? That's why. Well, yeah, why, be why Astro is better than Machinist? Exactly. 
top three jobs deep dungeon and why it isn't tank. Something to that bad, you know? Controversial comments. Controversial uh, take. <laughs> no, you know what would be the you know what would be the biggest clickbait for me, guys? This would be the biggest clickbait. Tier list. That's it. I don't have, I don't have to say anything else. That's it. Two words. Tier list. Because a lot of guys know I will never put out a tier list. <laughs> I, I, I've said this like a lot of times, I would never do a tier list. And there's a there's a very good reason I don't do a tier list. I hate I hate the idea of tier lists. And I just do that, man, clickbait. Easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dare man. Dear Red, you need where's your clickbait dude? Why did you clickbait your video, dude? You need like biggest trap in deep dungeon kind of thing. Can you make a tier list of tier lists? It could. That it could do that. I should shrink too much. Uh, would you want the next one to be similar to Heaven on a High in the sense of RNG can swing? Uh, I don't like the way the RNG is just a radical, radical situation in Heaven on a High. I think it's a little too far, too far and too crazy. Palace for sure does not have the radical RPG that Heaven on High does. Like, I just still don't understand how you can go through 80 floors and not pick up a Magislite. Like, I don't understand why that's- why that even happens, you know? Why you can go 70 floors and never see- never see, Like, here's the biggest and most wildest thing that I know that I've seen in, in Heaven on High. It's the fact that we've kind of found out that 71 plus just yields more raisings. And why you go through, like, literally 70 floors and not see a raising. But then it's a higher rate at 71. Like clearly there's rate there's rates involved in terms of Pomander's dropping. And why is it that like Raisings and Magicites in particular can go basically zero for so many floors in only Heaven on High? It doesn't happen in Palace. You know, from my experience it really doesn't happen in Palace, and I don't understand why it happens in Heaven on High, so I don't know, I don't quite like that. Cause you can search cause someone can definitely lose a run just because you just didn't pick up anything. Yeah, it's just a little- it's a little out of control, I feel like, my opinion. I mean, I'm all for, like, kind of the RNG challenge, but... We've seen it time and time again, people would get runs and just not pick up any. And it's brutal. And- and I honestly would, like... Look, like, there are definitely things where I'd be like, Hey man, maybe you should have used more affluences, maybe you should have used more fortunes. Up until I experienced it for myself. And I'm like, nope. Yes, yeah, it happens. <clears throat> oh, that was actually me, Kerrigan. But when it mattered, see, when it mattered into the higher floors, you still see it. My warrior run, Kerrigan. Now, granted, I was skipping a lot of chests, okay? So, I, I kind of not, I'm not, I'm not, not going to discredit that. I was skipping a buttload of chests on my warrior run, but my first racing was 141. And that's on that's on YouTube and that, that stream is there and all that stuff. Like I didn't see one until 141. So But at the end of the day, towards the end, um you eventually saw it, like it did show up. Which is the big difference because Heaven on High Man, I sh my monk run, I went twenty one to eighty six and I didn't see a single Magicite. And you know the Magicites feel like they're less likely to show up. And by the time you get up to the higher floors, it's just like I don't know, out of control, you know? Sometimes I do feel like it balances, but <clears throat> yeah. So anyway, that that was a really long answer, Taco. I hope that answered that question. But I kind of would hope it would be just a little less brutal in terms of the RNG. Yeah, Palace. I mean, even for the longest time, I've been saying this kind of constantly in Palace. Palace really, really feels like it's on you. You know, if you've managed to check all the chests on the floor. And you don't skip rooms and whatnot. I do feel like Palace is like a hundred percent on your gameplay. Uh, we're gonna play an ad, by the way, guys. At the end of this boss, I'm gonna give it a second, but we're gonna play an ad here. So about a few seconds, we'll start it up. Ninety second ad. Ninety second ad. 
Um, I do feel that Palace almost always is on your it, it's on your 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 court. You win and lose because of your actions, nothing else. Um and I definitely believe that more and more. Palace bosses are more fun in general. <clears throat> yeah, they are. Um, I mean, the mechanics are, you know, kind of not... Like, I think the mechanics are a little bit better. But also, it is all, um, it is, uh, we call it... They're more threatening, and that's nice. Hey, like, we're seeing Mimic City today. It was, it was interesting to prog... Fresh. I prog, I prog that blind, let me tell you, that was fun. It took me two raisings to figure out that fight. Give me something good to waste my money on? Darryman, you don't see ads, dude. What, what ad would you want to see, man? You know, I wonder if that could ever become an, a possibility in the future, where I can actually cater my ads to show, to show, like, specific advertisers. I think that would be, that's actually... Not how it works, but <laughs> that would still be cool. Exactly. Yeah, copy at. I got paid. I got paid. Uh, two people bought in the past month, and I got paid for that. So, yo, thanks for the eleven dollars, guys. I appreciate it. That's not really sarcastic. I take the eleven dollars. But I made eleven dollars from you guys. So I appreciate it. Do -do 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 But yeah, guys, check out the coffee. It's actually it's good. Everyone who's tried it has liked it, so it's it's good stuff. I just I just don't know who bought the recent one, but I hope you liked it. Someone bought one uh, a couple days ago. I hope you liked it. I do really hope, Power Gi, that um we do get way harder bosses in the next one. I hope it is just like. Harder than the Boja duels, man. Like, make me, like, run up to a boss and then I'm just like, I just can't look at chat, period. You know, I could, I could, I'm getting used to looking at chat on Godfather. And Behemoth is fine up until the burst, but man, like, make, make a boss where I cannot look at chat. <clears throat> I'm talking big, but I, I actually never yet bothered with getting Lone Hero. You're more than capable, man. You go high score in Palace. You can get to Lone Hero, no problem. Boja duels were fire. They were they were awesome. I thoroughly enjoyed it. More if you didn't if you didn't do the speedrun chat, you know. Like if you actually did mechanics, man, those mechanics were awesome. I love those, man. Hmm. They were those mechanics were fantastic. You know, I think any like if they put in a difficulty like that, uh, people are gonna. I bet I bet people are gonna really suffer in deep dungeon. Because if you did like the Boja Duel speed chat, dude, you're not gonna be ready for that. Like the fight that I hate the most in the Boja Duels was the Menin Menin uh <laughs> the Menineus fight because he was like kind of RNG, but honestly, his mechanics were really entertaining. You know, Excel Bomb, uh, Stillness. Uh, what else was there? Just positioning, you had to get the RNG of what bullets he would charge up, and you had to remember it. Um, it was really good. Oh, well, Excel Bomb is stillness, I guess. Hope they don't have Elder Equivalent in the next one. I get my title without ever. I got my title without ever having to kill Honra. Well, you know, I mean, kind of the way we do it, in essence, is that if you. It's better that you don't have to use it for Honra, you know? That's how we've kind of done it. Because, um, because, um, it's better to use it in, on, on the higher floors. Wait, I, I, I can't... Okay, hold on. You can always go back in Taco and fight him. Range tank. 
You want a range tank? Well, people were were talking about like you know bullet healers. You know, shoot the shoot your teammate for the heals. I mean, people thought Dancer was going to be a healer, which was not going to be too far off the off the thing, but melee healer. Is there a range tank in blue? Yeah, but blue is not really a real job. Doesn't count. I go to duel hunt, but you want a puppet tank like Beastmaster or something, or like Puppet Master? I don't think Puppet Master. I don't know if they can do that in this game though. Bosses you would run, you would run to, so I guess would be range only off attack. Them. Yeah, I'm dying, guys. Oh, I got man. Okay, I got man. He's good. Which means I'm gonna actually already have four minutes here, it's fine. Is there a third one? I would really like a third one. Answer is uh, negative. Ah! Whip! I got it. You got it, Polish. Not intuition again! <clears throat> I'm losing my shank steel rip. Level's not bad. We're almost at gravity. That was 45 gravity, I think. Do 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 Bitching? Intuition. And the strength, good. Ah, oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. It would be cool. That they gave jobs, they gave one, they gave jobs one or two jobs reactions in next deep dungeon. Like, ugh. that would be interesting as long as it doesn't break the game. I know people have been talking about that, the idea of like duty action specific something, you know. As long as it doesn't break it, because I don't want it to go into this Boja route where you can just cheese it, as people say. I still call it a speed run, you know, because I don't think it's a cheese strat. Because it still takes quite the effort to actually execute it. But I mean, if you have like something like Flare Star for like a hundred floors, I mean, that's gonna be pretty cheesy. <laughs> Solo LB. Solo LB would be sick. I mean, it's not, that's not a foreign thing that exists in this game. Oh wow, my HP really dipped there.
up, up, up. A million intuition. Alright, next one. Oh! No one tell, no one tell, uh, Nintendo. Exactly. No one wants that, man. No one wants that, that, that timeline. Oh, can't see shit. <laughs> Thanks there, man. Oh, I'm gonna die. Just kidding, I'm a healer. This is a square game. So still, it's still it can still be played on the Nintendo console, so it's iffy. Just give me forty five. There's so many things here. I'm gonna strength because I'm lazy. What level's gravity? 45. I just got rid of this thing. We're on the same Nintendo console? True. Front mission E upgradable Magitek armor. Magitek armor. Is he gonna like laser cannon? God damn it! Are you serious? A double mimic on a bronze chest. That's actually really rare. There's a lot of mimics today. Holy crap! Yeah, the Mimic and the Mimic, man. That worked out. Buy one more level and I have Bio Gravity. Mimic party? It's six up till now. It's like a score run dream. Is this the spawn room? Okay. Reroll the floor. Let's be like. Nope, try again. Is that a pomander? You wanna do a pomander for that? It's not a bad idea, honestly. See a treasure room? Nope, I'm out. Pomander? Do a pomander? I should get 45 after this and we'll definitely go a lot faster. Awesome! We get the 45, awesome! Oh, we got a meal song. We're gonna go rocking on a meal song. 10 bucks, speed rooms! Oh, it's on. Oh yeah, it's gonna re-roll the whole room, it just reloads a new room, so I imagine.
Damn it. Can we eh? Oh my, I can't see him. Too bad to impossible. Hey, it makes it makes for a good show, that's for sure. Sure, I'll do it. I did a grab. I did. I did uh. There's nothing showed up. What is this? Blight? I'm not gonna use Blight. Imagine re rolling a triple debuff floor and getting another triple debuff floor. Yeah, it'd be, like I said, it'll be a good show. It'll be a good show. I, I, I'm all for like showcasing something that just like makes you guys like face palm on top of me face palming, you know? I think that's 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 good. Good stuff. Could have another steal. It's time to go faster. Yeah, I can go in reverse. Actually. All the ways, I mean, imagine Power Gi, someone uses it to actually fish out triple debuff. So like they get a they get a floor without buffs and like no I wanna get a triple debuff floor. 196 with two rages. I died on 196 with two rages in the bank. And this week I got to 194 with one rage in the bank. But I was trying to stretch my palms as long as I could, and unfortunately I just ran out of... I just got one shot, so it happens, but... Like... Goddamn Elsie. Always ruining my life. Um, we died at 26 minutes on 194, and that room in particular, Jonu, was terrible. I had opened the exit, I was two rooms away from the exit, it was an HP down gloom floor, no buffs running, no steel to use, two serenities in the bank. And I had to probably kill a bicep, a dragon, and maybe more just to get to the exit that I had already opened. So it, it was really going to be a bad room. Um, and like I said, I was trying to hold on to my palms as long as possible. I didn't want to use the rage there because we already opened the exit. I really didn't want to use the serenity because we only had two. So I was just trying to just like sneak my way through. But then what happened was as I was doing that, I um... I um... What do you call it? I turned around and an Aramon that had just respawned showed up and then just basically one-shot me because it's it's HP down gloom. I didn't have steel on so it just like just cleaned me up. It happens. You know, it happens. I think I'm gonna stop here because it's a little bit much. I could witching though, but... Oh, I got the sight back too. Yeah, it happens, but I've been... My takeaway... Is that I was able to get to 191 again back to back in two runs, and I made two mistakes on the climb too. I um I died in the 171 set to something that I shouldn't have, and then I got super unlucky in 181 because I raged. I had a I had a mimic and a and a chimera on top of me, so I raged. 
And as I kill the Chimera, it had it had just finished Ram's voice. I kill the Chimera dead, but then it registered Deep Freeze on me after the Chimera died. And then I aggroed a Vinthard, and the Vinthard destroyed me because I wasn't moving for 10 seconds, so I lost the Rage. Although, RNG, I actually picked up a Rage on that set anyway, which I wasn't going to pick up to begin with, because, um, I, uh... I wasn't gonna go and explore that room. So, uh, so as a backup strat, I explored the room, picked up a Rage, and I kinda got it back, but I still lost time for what I just did. And that kind of also made me have to use certain palms when I didn't really want to, and all that stuff, so... But, you know, it happens. But even through all that, you still made it to, uh, 181, and I had a chance, and that's all you could ask for, right? All, all one could ask for. Just give me a chance to win. Give me a chance of victory, and we'll see what happens. The question is, do I get to the boss in 28 if I use a Strength Steel there? It's all prog. It is all prog. I learned quite a bit. I learned I could just handle two mummies without steel. It was very deadly, but it was doable. If I, you know, full focus, I could probably do it again, but man, that was really scary. Oh, that was scary. You hit with trip, then proceeded to dodge two auto attacks, still, so still stunned. Oh, is that what happened? Go figure. I wonder why I wasn't getting a cast off. Okay, gonna sight. Wow, big room. But pull to the exit. Oh, nice. I watched a good friend of mine play that game from beginning to end, so it's actually really hard for me to play it. I got that game for free um, when I bought my NVIDIA card, but I never got a chance to play it because I already know how that game plays. So it's like, uh, you know, but it was a, it's definitely an interesting game for sure. You know, th does that game have multiple endings, Jonu? Or is this just really like one ending? So I only watched one playthrough. I don't know if it had like multiple endings. This one? Okay. So yeah, okay, okay, okay. Bowie! Hey, what's up, dude? Good morning, dude. Good morning, sir. Angelus Mimicina Mimic. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Bowie. Guys, he is just one of the best speedrunners, like, out there. Wonderful host. Awesome commentate commentator, but also does Deep Dungeon. You know, and he's really good at that, too. And he's, he's, he's working on multiple players, so... Working on Necromancer, so definitely check him out. EU friendly. EU friendly! That's an important that's an important keyword in this chat. EU friendly. I know that's very rare. Because <laughs> he's there. He lives he lives there, so obviously he's EU friendly. Yo, thanks for passing by. Thanks for the five months, man. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing good. Stop! Okay, pull you. Very busy in July. Hey busy. Good busy man, good busy. It's been fun seeing your posts for uh, ESA and, and, and TwitchCon and all that stuff, so it's really cool. I'm good! I'm busy here too! Good busy. But things are going well, so... Can't complain. I really, honestly, cannot complain. So it's been going pretty well. I'm a level- oh, am I 50 already? Sweet. Yeah, things have been pretty good for the past couple months, um... So... I love it. Hell yeah, dude. Which, which also half halfway sucks because my sleep is still not fantastic. Like my sleep is still like partially tragic, but I know for sure it's not stress because I am not stressed. Like I've been stressed before, and I can tell you, I'm, yeah, I'm not stressed, man. I'm in like, I'm in a good place. So it's like okay, well, oh fuck me, dude. It's only a few. So you know. Still figuring out the sleep bit, but uh, we'll figure it out. Your stream time is so weird for people outside NA that even here in SA, it's hard to watch your stream due to time. SA? Oh, South America. I know, it's like this is NA prime time, you know? This slot is NA prime time. So it's really, it's decent for, it's decent for the NA folk, especially the DGENs. It's super good for people like Chila. Like, Chila is awesome because 
you know, it's like it's like lunchtime, uh, and she's just like starting her day, and she gets to watch the stream. So like, Oceanic gets like the the best the best uh, timeline. And I do stream at the evening hours for uh, that was a mimic. Huh? I'm actually going to witching because I don't want the. So like. Mondays I do stream EU friendly hours. We start at 3 p.m. Eastern, which is like 9 o'clock or 8 o'clock p.m. for some of the EU guys. But I don't do 14. I do Stranger Paradise, and we're probably going to be doing Stranger Paradise for a while because I'm going to prep for the expansion when it comes out. We're still doing speed runs. So I'm still trying to chase down Relzert's uh, world record run. Um, so there's a lot of work to be done there for strangers. Uh, just as a heads up, when we hit, when we kill the boss, I'm playing a 90 second ad, guys. 90 second ad when we play the, when we kill the boss, okay? 5 p.m. here in New Zealand. Damn! 8 in the morning here pretty soon. Yeah, like, I know for some EU guys, it's not bad. Like, if, you, if you're a morning guy, morning gal, sorry, if you're a morning gal or guy. For me, I am not a morning person. I wake up at 10, 11, uh, in the morning. I mean, I stay up until like 3, 4, so of course I'm up at like 10, 11. Um, so. But I know, I have I have streams for me. I have streams that I can never watch. There's a couple of guys that I fully respect in the in as a streamer. Like, I'm friends with them. They've been really nice to me. We raid them sometimes. But I can never watch their stream because they start when I'm going to sleep. And when I wake up, they're done. <laughs> you know? So, you going to bed soon? Damn. Oh, look at all these times. But but I will say though, one of the th one of the things that I have thoroughly enjoyed about you guys, this community, this content, is that I I am talking with people who are literally all over the world. So I know when you do like a couple like uh, community streams, and especially if you're like a server stream, I mean sometimes you do you will collect a crowd. That's, that's part of the server, you know? They want to play with you, they want to do the events with you. Um, and so I feel like people outside of that region or outside of those servers might feel a little left out. Unless, unless of course, the stream is really entertaining and stuff like that. But here, like, we are not restricted by server or location or data center. Because we're just doing solo. Like, you don't need to care about where, where people are. You just need to share your experiences. So it's been really, really a neat experience with you guys. I've loved it, man. I, I've always... And I've been someone IRL. I have loved travel and I love culture, and it and it 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 just makes me really happy to see everyone from like all over the world. And then sometimes we get into like food discussions and like culture discussions, and I just learn so much from you guys. It's so awesome. I love it. You know, keep an open mind about things, but it's it's so great. So it's awesome. You guys are great. You guys are awesome. Remember, we're doing an ad at the end of this boss, 90 second ad to keep the ads going. We gotta do 3 minutes of ads every hour per a Twitch incentive program. So I am making money by playing ads. I'm actually making extra money playing ads, because that's what Twitch wants us to do, and I am, uh, I am abiding by the rules. No, you're awesome! <laughs> Soon, soon, soon. My first, my first attempt at a, at a convention is probably going to be TwitchCon. 90 second ad kicking in, guys. Um, my first, I think, I'm going to try to do TwitchCon in uh, San Diego. But the thing is, it's, it's going to be a little tough because I'm not the type of person to, um, to pre, to pre-plan way ahead of time. Because it probably would have been logical for me to already get my flight, already book my hotel, you know. But I want to have the tickets first. I don't know how it goes, man. Maybe it sells out or something. So the tickets are going to come out soon, but I don't have the flight. I don't have the thing. So it could be like hella expensive. And if it is, I don't know. We'll see. But if it isn't going to be uh, TwitchCon, then I'll probably do PAX East. Or if FanFest shows up. If we do FanFest, then yeah, FanFest would show up. And I'd, I'd probably do that. Um, let's do uh, let's do a race here. <laughs> Uh huh. Not sure. I'll sign. Uh, I'll sign your uh, your ID card. You want me to sign the ID card? I'll sign the ID card. 
You know, when I went to FanFest in 2018, uh, I did a meet and greet with Suit and Callaway, the singer for uh, Answers and Dragon Song, and she signed my, uh, she signed my, uh, my, uh, my ID card, man. I didn't know what else I could make her sign, but I figured the ID card would be sweet, you know? New DD, oops, new DD drops. <laughs> I'll be, I don't think that's gonna happen because the Yoshi P said so. I uh, I'm not gonna go there. Okay, let's go. Okay, intuition. Let's pick up the other chest and off we go. Uh, let's do the. Well, I really still need level. Oh, I still need level, so let's just poke this one. Right? Serenity. So we're going to 50 today. So we're 20, we're 19 floors away from the goal. And then that should put me at about 2 a.m. I might pop open remake for an hour or two. Um to to chip away more at the story. So if you guys are interested in watching a little bit of Final Fantasy Remake, whether it's your first time. Although I will warn you, we are deep into the story. We are in chapter 13. Um, so if you're trying to avoid some spoilers, and I got you. Otherwise, we are playing Remake to relive the story. So I'm not skipping cutscenes. Um, and we are playing all the dialogue. So if you want a refresher, that's happening at the end. That's more than likely happening at the end of the stream. I need to beat the game by next week. I'm- I've now- I was saying this at the beginning of stream, I think what my plan right now is- I- what the goal was initially. The initial goal was to, um, beat the entire game plus the DLC, which is the Yuffie Integrate part. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna be lucky to beat the base game. So I'm gonna plan to beat the base game. And then, what happens in two weeks is that Stray comes out, which is the cat game. That's my priority. So we're gonna play the cat game until I beat the hell out of that game. Or I get bored of the game. And then we come back to Remake, and we play the Yuffie DLC. But this also opens the door for me to maybe achievement hunt on the game, so we might do hard mode and a little bit of fun that way. Um, because, you know, I guess we could. And then, um... We'll buy some time until Dio Field, which I think is the first game, the first new game that's gonna come out, because I wanna play Dio Field uh, Chronicles, which is in September. So that's kind of the prospective plan coming up. Most of the only hearts getting all addresses. That wasn't too bad. Um, I already plat. See, the thing is, I already platinumed the game on the PS5, <coughs> so I was I'd just be doing it just because. I like the game. <laughs> there's no other, no other reels. There's no other explanation other than like I just like the game. I, I like I don't really care about doing it all over again, but it's like you know may as well since I have the time and I have time to kill. I don't really have a game on the docket right now. Um, Surf and Beard, hello. I'm interested in learning how to run tanks in deep dungeon. Awesome, tanks are really fun. Are there any recent tank runs on YouTube you would recommend learning for tank basics? Tank basics, um. So my runs that I do on YouTube, Surf and Beard, <clears throat> I do them as like, you know, just like a full run. I do have a couple, specifically for Heaven on High, that we cater to like a bit of a tutorial. So I did a couple in, in Endwalker, like Warrior is one of them. We did a Warrior tutorial run for, for Heaven's, uh, I'm sorry, for Endwalker in Heaven on High. And you can always check them out here in the YouTube channel. I did recently do a Warrior run in Palace of the Dead. Uh, but that's not really a tutorial, but it's still there. You can reference it if you want to. We also did Dark Knight in Heaven on High last week. So if you want to check out the Dark Knight, it's full 100. So if you need a little bit of, of perspective there, and just to see how the run goes, that's definitely at least good to see how the job conducts itself. And you might be able to pull some ideas and pull some strats and, and all that stuff out of that, out of that run watching it. So you can definitely check those out. But I don't do like, um, like a mini guide. I, I don't know who has it in terms of a tank specific, but then, if, then again, if you have any other specific questions, you can certainly ask me and I will love to help you. Um, so... Hope that helps. Anyone doing PvP, by the way? I thought about it today, and then I'm like, never mind, I'll just craft. 
But I really need to get to like Diamond 1, which I think was the consensus, right? If we get Diamond 1, we're good for like the rest of like PvP forever. I mean, thanks for the content, but that's like, yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Check out. I would definitely check out the runs, maybe play it at 2 times speed, which is what I think a lot of people do. And just take a look at how it conducts itself, man. Like, it looks like what you need is just perspective. You just need to see how it works itself. Um, and kind of get a get a picture in your mind of like, okay, what am I supposed to do on a tank? And, and that's kind of where I think I feel like my full runs are good for. Because there's nothing edited, there's nothing cut, nothing edited, it's just the, the full run beginning to end. So it will give you that, that kind of raw perspective on, okay, how does the job perform? Okay, you know, stuff like that, so. And all the, all the tanks are great, by the way. They're all great. Um, you know, you could go by preference if, if Paladin is your main, you should be fine on Paladin. In Warrior, it's kind of the popular one because it has such a good kit. But any any tank you pick will have some success. Variants of success, but it'll have some success. What is this? Who's tagging me and why? Oh. Uh, okay, I guess I'll check that out. Okay, at Lumonts. What is your use? Where's that other chest? At once again. Rare Saturday stream. Yo, it's a Biff Tech. Rare Saturday stream because I'm um, setting up Astro Biff Tech. So while we're on the Astro grind, I will try to do a Saturday stream because I could really use the extra day to just take away two hours of this run <laughs> instead of shoving it in Tuesday, Thursday, you know? So pretty much every time I've done Astro, we've been kind of setting it up on Saturday. But I will do a little bit of remake Biv Tech uh, after, I think. We should finish up by like 2 a.m. Eastern, I think. So I'll do a little, re I'll do a little remake um, to chip away at the story, and then uh, that'll be the day. I'm kind of awake, so I'm not sleepy, so that's a good thing. Yeah, hey, sir, and surfing. Um, one thing I do wanna wanna part you with is in the assumption you'll kind of maybe like chill or something like that. Um, you are more than welcome to join our Discord. I always want to welcome all the guys there. Um, it's a good way to to get in contact with me, get in touch with anyone else who's running, um, and that'll be great for offline. You know, you can catch me online, but if you want to catch me offline, that's a good way to do it. And if you have any further questions, just ask away, man. I do. I have put a lot of time in the tanks. I still like the DPS better, but I've, I've seen the tanks back and forth. Like I, I know them pretty pretty well, so if you have any questions, I certainly will uh, try to help you out. You're surprised me way too? Yeah, I, I had a bit of a nap earlier, and I should be good, and I could stay up a little bit later, so we'll game for a bit. I want to game today, so we'll, we'll game for a bit. I've also conceded BivTech that I will probably only beat the, ba the base game for 7 before Stray. It was a little ambitious for me to think I could beat U the Yuffie expansion. But I will beat the base game, I hope. Between today, next Friday, and next Saturday. And then I will do Stray. And then we will do- we will come back to remake after Stray. To beat the Yuffie DLC and maybe do achievement hunting. On the Steam version. That's what I'm kind of thinking of. So it kind of worked out a little bit, I guess. Um, I'm gonna... I guess I'll... Wait! I'll do rich. Let's do big gold. Do, do, do. Also check out the Javi coffee, guys. Good stuff, good coffee. If you guys are coffee drinkers, give it a look. It's unique. You can do coffee at home at any time. It's liquid concentrated coffee. Really, really simplistic ingredients. It's not complicated. You can put it in any liquid. And boom, you have coffee. And then you could also use it on food products. So if you're a cook, chef, you can use that to get some coffee kick in your food. So you can give it a look. Everyone who's tried it has liked it. Everyone. So... How far did I get? Uh, uh, chapter 13. So we just, we just had the plate collapse. So I was able to- that was my goal yesterday, to get to the plate collapse and we got there. So now, what I'm ambitious of me today is that we get to the wall. 
but I know there's a big section coming up. A really annoying section in the sewers that I have to beat out, so... 86, what's up, man? I watched... I remember to reach out in Discord. Yes! Absolutely. Come at me, dude. Are we doing well? 86? Okay, strength. Yep, take that. Kind of lacking on the strength on the steals though. Do you steal the weapon? The I did. Yeah, we did it from the the chariot. I was I was reminded of that, so that's a good thing. Let me reach back. Over. Yeah, now that I have to care for achievements, I have to probably backtrack and pay attention to some things, but... We'll see, we'll see. I need to kill time till, uh, Dio Field. Dio Field, I think, is like, early, is like late September, so I need to kill time till that game, because I want, I want to play that game. That game looks good. I hope it's good. <laughs> hey, it's my raid song. I had a question about 7 hours. When you die in a boss, we try it. Do you lose items? No, you don't. I, I had that happen yesterday. Uh, Power Gi, it reset it like the battle didn't happen. You just retain your XP. Dio Field, yeah, Dio Field Chronicles. It's a PS5, uh, PS5 turn based, uh, turn based game. PS5, PS5 turn based game. They had it in one of the, um, one of the shows things. Hold on. They had it in one of the... <coughs> sorry. One of the... Whatever, PS5 things that they had. So it was there. It was good. Yeah, I gotta, you know, I gotta see more of that game. I, I never played the series, but I know, like, a lot of people were, were really into it. So I gotta see. I've been seeing, dude, I, I've been trying to keep track of Star Ocean, and it looks pretty good, but man, people are like... They're like really pessimistic about that game. I've heard already a couple things that people are like... Like scared about that game coming out, you know? We'll see. Come out on Steam, but September... Wait, really? Valkyrie is September? I gotta look more into it. There's so many, there's so many score next games, man. I'm definitely gonna be playing like a heavy. We're gonna be very heavy on the score next, uh, the score next library, which I'm fine. I mean, like, I love the score next games, you know, most of them, <laughs> but most of them, most of them, most of them. Okay, I gotta steal good. Okay, I'm gonna be 59 already, so I can oh, I can go back. I already talked that there was a new Star Wars coming. I had so much fun in P2 on PS1, but I heard the series is pretty downhill. That's what I've heard. Uh, that is that is the that is the comments I've been hearing. Power Gee. That they're concerned about the develop the publisher, not score next, but they're concerned about the the people making the game. Uh, there was an article from the gamer that was like, "Yeah, this game looks very generic. I'm very, I'm very not happy. I'm like, I'm not uh, like, I'm very scared about this game. Like, there was like, uh, I think it's Trice. There's like a lot of like apprehension about that game. I'm like, okay, so I might, I might be like what everyone else is, and we're gonna like." see what the reviews are and then maybe see that that game because it does look pretty good like the battle looks pretty good but it kind of sucks to hear about that for for game series that people are just like kind of scared about it in september see i would get so knowing knowing square nexus uh track record for ports i would totally get the console version of tech no matter what you know what i mean like if it's a square next game i'm getting the console version now, the only reason I'm getting the console for Stray is because I need access to it on my PlayStation for reasons. 
I would have gotten the PC version, but it is way more advantageous for me to get the console version. You'd have a PS5. Oh, do you not have a- oh, but I guess you'd rather have it on PC versus a PS4, right? I'm done- yeah, 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 that makes sense, that makes complete sense, yeah, yeah, I get that. That's fair, that's fair. Yeah, I have the option for PS5, so I'm gonna- I'm gonna opt for it. Caden says, I hope- I really hope that in the next Steve Dungeon, they add something useful in the bronze chest like they did not so- well! Okay, here's here's a couple steps that you can think of though, Caden. If they do something with potsherds or the potions, you know, like they make it a little bit better to obtain, then the next step would be to also put in something in the bronze chest, you know? That that would be a fair thing. But if they leave the way the potions are right now, and there's no chains whatsoever, um it would the bronze chests are useful because you get potsherds. Like they're like you, you really want to go out of your way to get them. Otherwise, you can't even do a run. So they do have a current use, but we'll see. It, it kind of depends. It's like a if then kind of thing. So we'll see. I'm gonna do an alteration here. I'm gonna be sixty. So put horde. Horde rewards and bronze chests? It'll watch your inventory though. On a clear run? That's fair. I mean, that's. F like, that can get really complicated, Kaden. Because think of it this way What if they make Deep Dungeon significantly harder? Then a bronze chest would be really good because you want the posture. So, in essence, that does increase the. The, the desire to get the bronze chest because you want to do another run in the future. <laughs> and then if you if you put more RNG into a bronze chest, then you might make it a lot harder for the runner to do another run because it's going to be so hard to get potsherds. So I think the step would need to happen is you need to redistribute the way you get potsherds or the way the potions are, are, are kind of obtained. And then you can think about this idea of... Um, of, uh, of, of putting something more useful for bronze chests or even changing it around. But I think you cannot do something now if the if the potions stay the same. Because then it's going to be harder to obtain said potions. And that's going to be brutal for, for reclears and even just a clear... Even just for a simple clear tap, it's going to be brutal, you know? So... Hope they give usefulness clear treasures. Oh my god, dude. I'm holding on to my sacks because I'm praying for the day that they put sustaining potions in your intuition sacks. And if that happens, man, I am in a gold mine because I have thousands that I can open. Literally thousands. Uh, herpes Frint since Herpes Free. I've been thinking like and like they could make Deep Dungeon so crazy in this game they really wanted to. They can. You know, they can. Uh, Herpes. Because... As long as they keep this game mode staying away from core fundamental parts of this game, so like Relic Grind, which it isn't because Hildebrand is now Relic Grind, so these you know that even even Criterion is safe from Relic, it looks like, maybe. I mean, it could be a step, but it's not going to be a requirement. Um, if, you keep, if you keep Deep Dungeon away from fundamental core parts of this game, they can make this as hard as they can ever want because this is not required content, right? So like if like here's an extreme example just to um just to kind of get us on the same page in case in case anyone's confused with this kind of notion. If you if you make Deep Dungeon a requirement through the story, so let's say 6.3 Oh, to get the 6.4 main, main story, you have to beat Deep Dungeon. Well, the problem with that is that you now have to make sure that people can clear the content. Because if people can't clear the content, you're going to have people quitting their subs. That's not good business. So you have to kind of make sure... Uh, so, so that's why you don't want it in like core required content. So that kind of goes the same with Relics. If Deep Dungeon was required to do a Relic, like in order for you to get a Relic weapon, you need to do Deep Dungeon, that's bad. 
because that means they need to make sure people can clear it. If it stays away from those core fundamentals, they can make it as hard as possible. People can look at the content. Like PvP, you can look at PvP right now, and you're like, I never want to touch PvP, who cares about it? It's like, it's, it's, it's boring, it's frustrating. It's fine, you're, I mean, you're missing out on rewards, you're missing out on... But it's not required, like, it's not gonna change, like, it's, it's not gonna make your character stronger. You're not gonna miss out on certain things, so that's why it's, it's fine. Um, and they could ramp it up as hard as they want to. Well, or the other way to think of it, Caden, if it dropped a weapon, that was BIS, right? I think on content, I think even the weapon that drops some ultimates is not... I think maybe it's like to maybe some extent it could be BIS, but it's not really BIS because it's like it it's like the same eye level as like the other things, or it gets outdated very quickly. So yeah, you just don't give it something that can be very essential for its uh, its thingy. That's important. Is BIS well, it has one extra build? Yeah, yeah. So like eventually it gets it gets outdated like very quickly, right? If you made it BIS for the entire expansion, Caden. Like, that's where it becomes really tragic. Like, that's become, that becomes really bad. Because then you're like, you know, even like a Savage tier would, would be like, yeah, you better make sure that you have this weapon. But at no point would you need an ultimate weapon to clear content, you know? So... Yeah, and then, and then, and then so, so this is me, this is me speaking to my kind of a little bit ignorance, right? So like, when the next Savage tier comes out, when 6.2 comes in, ultimate weapons are not even going to be close to BIS, right? Because there's just going to be better weapons out there. So it, so like ultimate coming out delayed after Savage after the Savage tier like Sav people have already cleared Savage the world first and everything so it doesn't really matter. Craft could be better. Yeah, yeah. So see so yeah. So there you go. So that's where that works out and that's why ultimate is a good comparison as well. Um Oh god, I didn't kill them all. Uh a little awkward, but it's all right. We'll deal with it. This thing is gonna tank bust for me, but it's fine. There's a tornado. Okay. We're gonna play an ad, by the way, at the end of this boss, so you guys know. Um, we are playing ads on stream because I am required to. So at the end of this boss kill, we'll do a 90 second ad. Does Fortune not work with the magic scythe? It does, yeah. I always do a Fortune with a magic scythe. I mean, whether Fortune works at all, that's a bigger- that's more the question. It'll work with magic scythe, it's just- sometimes it just doesn't work at all. Not gonna lie, I want them to make Deep Dungeon way harder. Me too, Herpes. I want the Boja dual bosses to be the bosses in Deep Dungeon, man. And, you know what's another follow-up to that, to what you said about it being harder? Um, and let me finish this thought before I, I, I put in the ad. Um... Um... Our ex- So this is like the, the thought process of how Ultimate was. They ramped up the Ultimate difficulty because they tried to adjust that the players are way better at the game. Versus what they were last ex last Ultimate for T. So I hope they ramp up the difficulty to accommodate how good deep dungeon runners, especially soloers, are. Does that make sense? I think we're at, a, at like, really the peak of our ability in terms of just dissecting deep dungeon, clearing deep dungeon, solo, forget about the party, solo. So you kind of hope that they ramp up the difficulty to match the player's kind of current ability. And I think that'll be so cool. And so far, a lot of the battle systems that they put into this game have really been great. I think everything that they put in battle has been fantastic. So, okay, let me hit an ad, and I'll catch up with anyone in 90 seconds, alright guys? Um, tried twice, didn't drop anything, so I was wondering. Oh, don't worry, man. Just welcome to Deep Dungeon Polish. <laughs> I mean, you don't... I mean, when we... In Palace of the Dead, we've adjusted to do the double rage, right? So we do the double rage in Palace of the Dead. You do two floats, etc. So you don't really afford yourself to fortune with a rage. So you don't really see that much thing. But yeah, absolutely. It's, it's not a... It's not a... It's totally... You you know what? You know what you'll see, Polish? If anything, you'll see brawn chests all the time. You just drop brawn chests. 
So plan two, yes, fiendish squid. What time is it? It's 1.30. I want to do a little bit. We are in chapter 13. I do want to chip away at it. I'm pretty awake right now. Uh, I'm not sleepy. So I think I can do at least another chapter. There, we'll do a little bit of 7 remake after. I'm ready. Uh, I'll take you with you. Hell yeah, we are, we are currently right after the plate drops. That is where we are in the remake story. So if that sounds like spoilers to you, big warning. You know, you may want to step away and that's understandable, I get it. But if you want to see what remake's all about, uh, you want to see the story, and, and I've been catering this stream to relive the story. The game's two years old, I wanted a refresher on the story. Um, if anything, you know what, this refreshes me for Crisis Core. Because if you didn't know, Crisis Core is being completely revoiced apparently. So that's cool. Um, so if you want to see how that whole thing comes along, because we will, I totally will play Crisis Core on stream. We're actually, when we play Crisis Core, we're going straight into hard mode, assuming that they are giving us difficulty like they did for the first version. There was normal, and there was hard mode. And I want to do hard mode. So we're going to play hard mode in Crisis Core along with learning about the story. So if you want to see that happen, guys, I got you covered when that game comes out. Uh, well, if it comes out before Deep Dungeon. <laughs> if Deep Dungeon comes out first and then Crisis Score, I'm gonna have a very interesting decision to make. We'll see how I feel by then, you know. I probably will want, like, um... I probably will want a little bit of a mental break from the Deep Dungeon grind at least once in a while. But it's not, I wonder what if Deep Dungeon will be similar. We'll see. I mean, variant scales, you know, so we'll see. It can scale in multiple directions, we don't know. What how it's aged? Well, so here's the thing, Herpes. You know that they're releasing a new one, right? They're releasing a brand new one? Well, well a remaster. They're, they're releasing a remaster. Um, and the remaster is updating some of the battle system. It's updating the voices. It's adding some voice lines, and it's updating the graphics, and the UI also. So there's a lot of updates going on with the remaster. Um, so its current version for sure probably feels out of date, but they're making it like, modern. My first prog, I used three affluences, three I got branches. So you used them correctly, that sounds like an affluence to me, I don't know about you, but that sounds like the, the affluence I know and love. Hope it's good. I mean, they're not changing. They said they're not changing anything significant, which always sounds weird. It's like, yeah, we're not made. We're not making any major changes. It's like, wait, so you're making minor changes? <laughs> you know, that's that's how I read the sentence. Like, it was like a quote. It's like we're not like the developers were like, yeah, we're not gonna make any significant changes to the story. So you're gonna make minor changes to the story. Is that what you mean? Um. But I'm so looking forward to it, man. I love Crisis Core. Crisis Core was so good. I really enjoyed that game. That was my first, um... That was my first kind of action RPG that I really liked. Yeah, Tactics Ogre, I want to try that game. I never played the original. And I do want to I do want to try out the birthplace of Palace of the Dead. That is what Palace of the Dead is based on, Tactics Ogre. And it's a tactical RPG, you know? You got me a tactical RPG, so I'll take it. And I would like to kind of see how it is with the Reborn version. Just to experience it, so we'll see. Uh, did I miss any other chat? My weakest- okay, extra code. My weakest level 90 job viable will make stronger level easy, but I wonder if they can balance that. We'll see, we'll see what they do. Let us cling together is a goat game, not gonna lie. It's such a rabbit hole game, to be honest. I've heard no one kind of kind of shit talk Tactics Ogre. I never even heard of it though. When Palace of the Dead came out, I didn't even know what it was um, until like people explained it to me. I never knew it existed, so I'm kind of interested. <laughs> to be fair though, I'm a little I was a little ignorant on a lot of game series until more recently when I've opened my eyes and opened my ears about it because I've been more I've been more wanting to try out uh, different franchises now. Like going out of my way to try them, and it's been really fun. So I've been having a lot of fun playing variety games, guys. It's been good, and I, I'm I'm really grateful for anyone who stops by and watches those streams because you know it's not the main content, but you got to start somewhere to to try to pull that audience. And I appreciate you guys helping me out or enjoying the content first and foremost, but helping me out with that. So 
If I if I can pull some some good parts with variety, man, it's really gonna help the channel tremendously. You know, I can only do deep dungeon for so long, but I can play I can play other games forever. <laughs> you know, <laughs> new game comes out, try it out. Deep dungeon. Hey, if they keep if they keep busting out deep dungeon updates, we're in. But that that thing definitely has a, a little bit of a lifespan. As much as I hate to admit it. Even though I've stretched uh, Palace and Heaven on High for like six years. Like we've definitely uh, stretched the hell out of this content. And not saying that there's a finish line in sight. I mean if I clear Astro that's really gonna help but... Um... You know. I don't know what's gonna... I don't know where I'm gonna be in five years streaming stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna still want to be doing Deep Dungeon another five years. I can guarantee at least two years, that's for sure. I still need to rank one in all jobs? Oh my god, dude. I don't know, man. With Finn doing it, dude... Ugh, Finn's too good, man. Maybe one day, if I feel up to it. Maybe if they introduce their own, uh, scoring system. Overlay. Dubbed the Loken Overlay. Except the official, uh, sanctioned score next one. And I'll think about it. Chilling good to see you, man. It's hard to pick out a niche to be honest, but I bet he can do it. Well, we're trying it this year, Herpes. This this year is all about, like, branching out. You know, diving into it, giving a shot. Uh, in, in all honesty, not caring about the metrics, you know. And just... just... creating something consistent. And now I've been able to say I can... I've sped... I've speedrun the game. That's great, you know. I've never... I've never tried to speedrun a game officially, and now I'm like... Rank two in the world for a, for a series, and that's so much fun. And I'm trying to chase a, chase over for a world record. I've been able to beat a couple games on stream. That's been awesome. You know, we play a game, we beat a game. The only one I didn't do was Elden, but you know, Elden's Elden. It crossed my mind for Elden Ring to bring it back on stream, but there's too many games now that are coming out, so I don't think it's gonna happen. And the reason why I'd bring it back is because I'm actually pretty comfortable with the game now. I pretty much walk up to any boss and kill it pretty fast. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, but I'm trying to hit an ending on that game. I'll stream. <laughs> I mean, I could come back for DLC, you know? I know they're gonna have DLC, so maybe I can come back for the DLC, but... I don't know, I just... This game, you know, I don't like getting too frustrated on stream. Without it looking somewhat entertaining. I feel like that game, when you get stuck in a boss, it wasn't entertaining. Uh, at least on my end. Like, I wanna, I wanna get frustrated on my own when I can, like, you know, stand up for a second and, like, breathe. Not when I'm live and people are watching and then, like, if I give up, it looks like I'm literally giving up. It's like, no, I just wanna do something else, but the perception is like, you gave up. I hate that. You thought the first half of the game? Fair. Come to watch this before... And have to disappear. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, we're gonna hop into remake after this one. We're we're almost there, so we're gonna definitely go into remake after this. Um, a couple, yeah, a little bit, a little bit of remake. Maybe knock out a chapter, you know. Ooh, I like that. We'll, we'll stay within the balance for a little bit. Nobody has completed solo on Astro yet. Nope, uh, eight people have. I got close. We have a couple people have. Our buddy Aurora has too. I think the only one in the expansion so far. But no one has. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't man, don't worry, man. Things, uh, things, things are very busy around here for sure. When uh, it's like it, honestly, if like you step away for like a month or two. This this content moves. The community moves very fast. It's it's pretty incredible in my opinion. Damn, I was gonna wait for the paralyzed, but I guess not. Wave died down. 
Well, he like hops into like once a week, doesn't he? I didn't even feel the wave. There was, it didn't feel like a wave at all. It didn't, didn't feel like a wave at all. I think the wave right now is the uh, the billboard in Crystal, you know? Oh nice! Yeah, yeah, good time to do the duels. No one's gonna give you any, any issues. Compete. What's note 14? The viewers will be mad at play what you want. Well, it is money, you know. So, I mean, for me, I, I have other reasons. Of course, I have my own reasons, but he has a business to run, in essence. <clears throat> when you get solo CE for that easy dual clock, yeah. And it's solo because once you add like one more person, it gets further complicated. You know, it's got to be solo. Side of our Oh, god damn it. Leave me alone. Oh, whoops. <laughs> good times, the good times. Found the trap. Moving fast, as I wanted to. Oh, he's Jesus. It is this way. Kill. They just died in one gravity. Cool. Do you know how much damage up stacks are required to kill Xandar? I would want to say three, maybe three or two. You definitely need some if you're doing the full. If you're doing the full mechanics, you definitely need some. If you're going to do speed run, you probably don't need them. Um. Hey, hey, thanks for passing by, Herpes. Um, I hope you have a good night, and I hope to catch you next time. Hey, do what you you do what you are comfortable with, but I but being here right now means a lot. So thank you for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna save it for Thursday. Thursday's da big day, so we gotta make sure we get there Thursday. We're just about at the boss here, so let's go. Um, when we kill Etta, I will not play an ad. But I'm gonna play an ad when I'm setting up for 7 Remake, so we will shift over to 7 Remake after this. After killing the 50 boss guys. Um, so just a heads up. And again, we are in, uh, we are in Chapter 13. We have just, uh, the plates have done its things. So if you're, if you don't want to see that part of the story, um, or you're not there yet, I understand. If you want to relive that section, that's a really deep section of the story, by the way. Really emotional stuff. So if you want to see that, stick around because we'll play it. You're going. You're doing full on black mage without instant cast loss action. Okay. 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 
I'm getting a good song here. Yeah, that's a good one. Do, do, do. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Mitchuka, do it! Do it! Reflect! Let's go! It's time for Lion. Also, I do want to thank anyone uh, listening right now who have popped into stream. If you're lurking, you're chilling, if you chatted, thank you for popping in for the short stream. Saturdays, we have been doing Astro 1 to 50. We've been doing it for a couple weeks already. Um, and it means a lot that some of you guys pass by just to, just to check out. So thank you for that. Um, Hey Skippy, good morning! Well Skippy, if you want to stick around, I'm going to be swapping over games. We're going to go to uh, 7 Remake. So if you want to skip around for that. Did I say skip around for that? If you want to stick around for that. Yep, we're continuing right where we left off from yesterday. <clears throat> I'm going to play till I guess I get sleepy, that's where, that's where we'll go to. If I get sleepy, we're good. Damn it. Didn't do that right. How you doing, Skippy? You somehow always you somehow forget the lore around to another refresher. Yeah, we it's absolutely refresher. That is exactly why I'm doing it. To refresh. Bit sleepy? That's I had a couple naps, like literally a couple naps, I'm like, awake. So I'm, I'm ready to go. Usually like, on a Thursday or Tuesday, we like get to this part of the night and I'm like tired as hell. Like Tuesday, I'll tell you man, around this time on Tuesday, I'm probably gonna be like super tired. Like I have a long day on Tuesday, a good, a really good day, but a long day. So like around now, but I'm, I'm awake right now, so I'm good to go. Let's do a game for a bit, have some fun. Not bad, 2 hours 10 minutes to get up to this floor. Pretty good timing. Um, we will continue this file in particular on Tuesday, 51 to 130 on Tuesday. Also just a heads up, I've been playing ads at the boss kill. You're not gonna play an ad on this boss kill, only because I'll play an ad when I'm setting up for a remake. So we'll, uh, we'll say our goodbyes and all that stuff, and then uh, we'll play an ad. Give myself some time to set up and all that th stuff and everything. So there you go. 50 down. We've reached our goal today. Pretty happy about that. We did the thing. And as always, I want to show you guys the file. Which is kind of what I like to do for Palace to give you some like, you know, hey, here's the file. This is what we're working on. So right here, that's the file 51 plus. We'll continue that on Tuesday. Um, so that'll be our our, uh, our job on Tuesday. But I do thank you guys for, for chilling for the two-hour stream on 14. Um, if you're just hanging for 14 and you're gonna head out and do things, um, thank you. Appreciate it. Um, join us on Discord, Twitter if you haven't already. Uh, these runs will show up on, this, on the, the main channel, the YouTube channel, under my name. Um, so you see these in about a week's time. 
Tuesday should be the ninja run. The sick, crazy, mind-blowing ninja run that I had so much fun doing, so that'll be Tuesday. We just released the Astro 196 run today, so that got released on YouTube today. So if you want to catch up on what happened last week and get my PB. Um, hey, Southerner, congratulations, man. Let's go. Welcome to Lone Hero. You've been working on that for a while, so I'm proud of you, dude. Let's go. <coughs> um, excuse me. Good, you should be shaking. <laughs> Um, but yeah, thank you guys for coming. Now, we are going to transition to 7 Remake, Final Fantasy 7 Remake. So, if you gotta go, if we're gonna get spoilers, we are in Chapter 13. So the plates have just dropped, and that's where we're gonna resume the game. Um, but if you're gonna stick around, I appreciate it. If you're gonna head out, have a good night. Tomorrow, Heaven on High White Mage. Heaven on High White Mage, one run only. We're gonna do that 9pm Eastern, we're gonna go White Mage, Heaven on High. So you wanna see that? That's smart. So, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna hit a three minute ad while I set myself up here guys and then we'll we'll get started. So hang tight and uh, I'll chill with you guys for a couple minutes, alright?